Hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to see how we can create a docker image for shipping your nest.js application to production. I'm trying to create a series of two videos where the first one which is this one I'll try to show you how you can create a docker image for the production and then I will show you the flow on how you can use docker for your development environment. So let's get started. Now, I already have this Nest.js application, which in my previous video, I showed you how we can use feature flags using Flagsmith, right? So that same application, which is running on port 3000, we will try to run this application with build version on a Docker container. Or rather, we will first create the image and then we will run the container, okay? To do that, if you see, what I have done over here is let us look at this docker file and I will show you step by step what is happening. Okay. So the first thing is we are going to do an incremental build. Okay. It's a step by step process. So the first thing which we are going to attain or achieve in this step is create a docker environment where I can build the final image or you can say you know when we are running our nest.js application right we do start or we do start dev but this is the development version but when we want to ship it we run build right I yeah so the build version is basically if you see the dist folder where everything is JavaScript okay now to get this into working, what we do is first create a de development environment. Okay, we're using Alpine images so that the images are very small. Obviously the production, we will try to keep it as small as possible. So first of all, we pull node 14.18.0. I know that my application will work in this environment. So this we are saying is the development environment for us. I change my working directory from user source app. Then what I do is I first copy my package.json. Once I've copied my package.json, right, I do an npm install. So if you understand, first the container got this file. Nothing was here, okay? But the package.json has every dependency which is required for the application to run. And because it is the development environment, I'm just doing npm install, which means the dependencies and the dev dependencies both will get installed. Okay. This is important if you want to even run some linters or stuff before you do your build. Okay. So it means that if some of your tests are failing, then the next step will not get executed. Right. So that's the reason we do that. Okay. So let's move ahead. I do an npm install and then I copy everything from here to this folder. Now, typically what happens is I don't keep the node modules folder here because I'm doing an npm install any which is. So for example, right now my app is running. What I will do is I will delete the node modules folder. Okay. And then I'll try to build. So let's comment everything over here. This won't get executed. And this is the first step that we are going to do for our Docker build. The command is docker build dash t feature flag. And then the dot means I'm using the Docker file on this folder. Okay. Now there's one more thing which you can do, which is no cache it means the image or when the image is created right it will not use any cached version this generally takes some time but let's first try this one okay so you can see the first thing that happened was it downloaded the image now already i had the image so that part was skipped because obviously this will not change then our working directory was changed so fine, this got executed. Then 
it copied the package.json now it is doing an npm install so you know, the node modules are getting installed which is fine you can ignore these red warnings basically this is running inside the container and it will give you some warning about deprecated packages and stuff for now i think this is fine as as i said these are warnings you can ignore them okay and then if you see based on our script right when the npm install happens after that it copies the code base now obviously the npm install is going to take some time it is taking a lot of time and especially with no cache flag but if i if i run this command later on right you will generally see a very fast build that generally happens because you know these things are taken from cache okay so this is done thanks for installing nest which means basically the entire npm install has happened the post install script got executed and come on finish it off 89.66 seconds right that's quite a lot of time okay this is warning this is warning and this is warning fine so after that it started copying so fifth step is copy dot dot okay so basically everything in here is going to get copied inside my working directory and then the last part was run npm run build so far we have created this image but with this image what can we do we can run it but that is not our ultimate goal right because this is not the production version but I would like to tell you if I now remove this for example and run it again can you see it executed in literally no time right that's the reason I said that if you want to build something if you think there are some changes you can always do the no cache flag anyways but I don't want to do that anymore because I already know that this image will get created because I have tried this out before I am recording so yeah okay let's keep the video short so our first step which was to create an environment where we can do the build is ready okay this image which we have created so far is going to be the environment where we will do the build so next step is to again load this the from i'm passing an argument i'm setting the environment here as production so what happens is when the environment is production and now like like the previous image my working directory has changed i copied the package.json but when i do npm install right because i'm on pack on production from the package.json that dependencies will not be installed that is what i want right first of all we want to keep our image size less as small as possible plus the second thing is we don't want any dev dependency in our production version but then i selectively copy whatever is required from the development environment now if you want to visualize we have everything from here in our development environment because we need a copy dot so means everything from here into here so i need this folder i need package.json and obviously i need the env right and with this that thing will get it created and then finally what i want to do is run node disk slash main inside the disk main.js will get executed so let's now try this one So the build is happening now obviously what i understand is this is not something which will get cached as a docker layer right if you see 
the npm install was also cached because it detected that there was no change and hence those layers worked for us but this build is something which the docker will not understand you know files will change things will happen right so it will always do that build so that layer is not cached after that what happened is obviously we will have one additional line so in here it is saying npm install on line 12 which is in our case 13 so after setting all these things you know working directory copy package.json this is the npm install which basically installed all the production level things then we copied this three files the dist folder the package.json and the env and then it said you know this is the entry point now which means that if i do docker images you'll see i have quite a few images over here but this one is the one which we are interested in so my understanding is no sorry not this one but actually this feature flag latest 16 minutes ago that's interesting let me see okay i think what must have happened is because i had created it some time back it detected that there was no change and hence it didn't rebuild if i try to do a no cache it is going to take time so just let let it be there but as you can see my entire code base or the image size is 132 mb okay and i know out of that around 95 to 100 mb is basically my node modules so you know, there you go okay so far so good so now we have the image it's on the latest version how do we run this and see whether our application is working or not because if i now try to hit refresh it is not going to work right so docker i think i have the command ready docker um no 3000 yes so what are we doing over here we are saying docker run which will basically you know create a container or yeah it will create a container and it will you know map port 3000 of my machine the host to the docker containers port 3000 and here i am declaring the image which i am trying to use whenever you are trying to use an image and if you don't just give the name it will always take the latest version so in our case we are going to create a container which will run and port 3000 is mapped to port 3000 with this image additionally what i will do is i will try i will send the flag slash d so that the process is you now once the container is created this terminal is detached from that container okay so it created a container this is the id now let's do docker ps our container is running and if i try to refresh this page you can see we have this page running and now let's see what do we have inside our container so docker execute interactive 748 and then sh now once i do sh I'm inside the container now let's do ls an you can see i have very selected files i have the dot env the dist folder node modules package.json and the log file was created because i did an npm install okay if i want i can choose to even copy the package log.json in that case what is going to happen is if let's say even i have a package log.json right so this exact same versions will be copied over into the production and this is in a way a good habit actually because you know exactly what versions the application will work on anyways and if i i don't know whether the dush will work or not right but you can see that the overall module size is hmm, that's interesting so i was wrong actually i thought 
my node modules was around 100 MB. That must be the development packages. I mean, it must be with the development packages. But the strange thing is, if the node modules folder is only 23 MB, and what's the size of the disk? 184 KB, which is very less. So yeah, I must, I think uh, the Alpine, okay. So the Alpine image is 80 MB, you can see. Now we are using this, let me see. 18, yes, 14.18.0, right? So this is 118, which is fine. Plus this 23 MB, okay. So yeah, we are roughly there. I think if I could use 12.13 maybe it will be a little less but i don't know whether the application will work or not but yes that's how we understand whether our image is ready for production or not so yes this image is something which i will in future try to push to some repository and on servers i will pull that but yeah this image as you can see is ready so yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.